Hello everybody, my name's John and welcome to our channel. Today we have a Xinglong 901. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Um, it arrived in a pretty sorry state. You see the way it's been beaten up and the likes. I'm hoping there's nothing damaged in it, but we will find out together. Of course, upside down. This took about six weeks to get here. No, seven weeks. No. It took a long time anyway. That's everything in the box. Construction booklet. We have the controller. Let's have a look at the car. Oh, what a little cutie. Look at that. I actually kind of like that. That's quite cool. I don't know why, in my head, I expected it to be slightly bigger, but there you go. Isn't that what every man says? Nothing else in that box. You can see how beaten up it's been. It's slightly heavier than the Double L Toys 144001. However, look, this is being smashed up. Oh, what a shame. That shouldn't be too hard to fix though, but that's a bit frustrating. Out the box, that's broken. What have we got here? We have, oh, I hate these types of chargers. Just give me a wall charger for the love of God. There you go. Uh, oh, metal. Good for your wheel nuts and four extra clips, which are always handy. I have a magnet somewhere. Done, beautiful. Right, put that to one side and that to one side right now. We will work on that in a moment. So how do we get this out? Look at that! What a cutie pie! Slightly shorter wheelbase than the WL Toys. Very soft suspension. And grindy something. Okay, well, let's get into it. on it which is a little bit frustrating when you consider the WL Toys has got all metal everything. Um, I mean if you look there even that's that's bent already. That's out the box. That's before we started to beat the crap out of it. What is that noise? It's definitely the drive shaft moving. It'd be quite hard for me to show you that but as I'm moving this back and forth, I can see the drive shaft going. So we definitely have to get in and look at that. Let's get the battery out. Don't need that there for the minute. That's very similar to the, oh, I can't remember what the WL Toys is, the 144001, but I think it's more than a thousand, but I will get that afterwards. I don't think it's supposed to sound like that. I honestly don't. Right, job number one. Let's quickly fix this. Actually, before I take the last screw out at the bottom, let's put some batteries in it and just make sure it's working. Working. That's that 
one. No, battery's out. Okie dokie. Bog standard, basic, does exactly what it's supposed to do. Line that up. There we go. I don't like having to repair stuff straight out of the box, but it just goes to show the times that we're in right now that the thought of having to send something back and wait for another 12 weeks for it to return to you, that's without repair time. It's just not worth it, and it's not exactly hard to repair something like this. Should we just start to take this apart? I have images one day of one doing one of these screws and then all the wheels just sort of fall off together. So all the long ones go to the rear. That's handy. Right, now we're... That's off, that's off, that's off. You love it when everything is connected. I don't know if the rear wing needs to come off, but I think it's just best to get it out of the way. From the videos I've seen on YouTube, this is just a fun little toy. I don't know if it's about all out performance. It is brushless, but from what I've seen, it looks like the WL Toys is a little bit, well, the 144 ones a little bit faster. Really? It's got four tiny little screws here. Well, I mean, tiny. It's all going to come off, isn't it? strong at all. Please post in the comments if you had those snap quite quickly because they look like a quite quickly breakable item. I have no 
choice but to get into that. Bit of Four tiny little screws off the rear wing. Every time that sound happens, it makes me think of an electrical problem. Obviously it's not, it's mechanical, it's just... sounds like that. sections. Cool. Right. Now, it is just those two, I assume. Okay, they have to come off. so that I know where they go. I did have an intention to grease the diffs anyway. I didn't think I'd be doing it right now, but seeing as it requires so much to disassemble it, could be the way to go. Love that. Right, what now? No! Yay! There we go. And I would be right to grease the diffs. Oh my god, look how little's there. That is ridiculous, huh? But they put some around the motor there. Cool. Okay, so what is this grinding sound?
Same thing I'm going to do. Pointing away from me. Let's grease this up while we're here. Maybe we won't grease this up while we're here. I think this one's got Loctite on it. to get those out so it's going to be another video there is a minimal amount of grease on this it's a bit greasy but it's not the amount that I would like so let's see if by putting a little bit of grease this end or a little bit more grease this end whether it will get rid of that grinding could just be the mechanical grinding of course so that's why I wanted to put a little bit of grease there or a lot of grease come on about to say those looked a bit or sounded a bit tight but they're actually very loose definitely helped a little bit I thought for a second it was rubbing here because there seems to be some plastic coming out. And plastic, this piece of plastic coming out from the uh, receiver you see there. I don't think I have my knife here. I'm going to have to go and get my knife back in a sec. Well, it's definitely greased up more. I'm quite happy with that. Others, and then we will do the other end.
apologies about the fireworks outside. Nothing I can do about that, I'm afraid. Saying that, I don't know if you can hear them or not, but I assume that you can. Interesting. The whole steering system can just come off, pop off out of the way. That's very cool. Therefore, leaving me access to everything I need. a baby's bottom that has just been changed. <clears throat> Give it a 
sides of there. Thinned out a little bit more. Maybe not that much. Maybe the full. It definitely sounds a lot quieter, doesn't it? Putting it back together is the reverse of how you took it apart. I'm recording this on Sunday morning, hence why we've got fireworks outside and you're hearing plates in the kitchen being smashed. I just walked into the kitchen to grab my uh, knife kit and saw my family walking around like they're zombies. A real Sunday morning days. Okay, okay. Then you go back on Zetch. Come on. I do like this steering system that it can come off in just one big foul swoop. That's going to save time. As long as you can get it back on in one foul swoop. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. Very cool. I just have that screw in the steering to put back that I didn't need to take it out. Seems like everybody's doing home improvements in my area today. Once again, I apologise for the banging sound next door. I think they have a secret camera where they can see where I'm going to start recording because every time I do, they start doing something next door. Now it just seems malicious because it's right on that wall by the side of me. Love them. Okay, my prediction straight off is that these things are going to snap because they look so flimsy. But let's see if I'm wrong. Right, do you remember what it sounded like at the start? Excellent. Right, now, in doing that, I have to say that I think it looks quite good. But we're only going to know how good it is when we get out and start driving it. So, oh, I see that you can put another shock here. That may be a cool thing to do at a later date. Not forgotten anything, have I? No. Okie dokie. Right. Well, the next time you will see this, it will be out on the road. Catch you later. Hello everybody, here we are with the 901. I want to say Shilong. Shilong? Shilong Yi. I should have written down the name. Uh, we're here to test how fast it is, what it handles like. We're only at tarmac at the minute. Can't be bothered to go down to all of the mud and dirt because I want to keep it looking half decent for five minutes. Uh, we have the 360 camera and we have the... The old faithful 90, uh, 901. Uh, that's that one, right? The old 144001 to see which one is fastest. So let's get on with some slow mo.
Are you ready? <laughs> it's a lunatic. Go. here and do some donuts please let's see it close to the 360 camera again.
Hello everybody and welcome back to the Blue Match Studio, whatever we're calling this new area. Uh, as you can see, we have just come back from the uh, sand and gravel. Um, I actually cleaned off one of the tyres, the reason being that I, I suspected that the tyres had been chewed up quite badly. But it's not in fact been chewed up, it's just the little bits at the end of the manufacturing process. The tyres themselves have actually held up quite well. So, this is the conclusion part of the video, and what do I have to say about it? Well, what a fun little toy this one is. I don't think it's quite in the same league as the uh, WL Toys 144001, but I am going to do a head-to-head -head at some point, so then we'll get really into details. Uh, on top speed, as you've seen on the video already. On the tarmac, definitely, it's the 144001. On the gravel, I expected this one to be better. Just because of the bigger wheels and the suspension being able to sort of glide more over the gravel. Didn't turn out to be like that. The 144001, again, was faster. On acceleration, this one I definitely believed that it would be a better on acceleration. However, it didn't turn out that way. It turns out that the 144001 is again uh, faster on acceleration. And I think that's due to the very fine sand that we have where I live. It's not so much gravel, it is more of a sand and these tyres, why good? The tyres on the 144001 are sort of the square blocks and they dig in a little bit better. So I think this one would be better. I've seen on other people's videos where you accelerate and it lifts up, hence why you've got this at the rear. Now, I've tried on every, every surface we've got in this area, including the tiles that we have on the floor here that are not very shiny, the roof, the, the tarmac outside, there was newly laid tarmac, old tarmac, everything. I cannot get the car to do that. It goes up a little bit, but it will not go up like that unless you're reversing and then accelerate fast. So, is it that this isn't working properly and maybe not giving max power? I mean, I was messing with the controller. You've got high and low and then all the way to the end, and I can't get it to, to do that. So, maybe that's my mistake. I do not know. Um, my apologies to the manufacturers concerning the mounts here. You saw the way we were beating the living crap out of it, and they have held up just fine. Maybe their flexibility is the key, so it's not actually going to snap because of that. Um, would I buy it again? That is the question that is the whole point of this conclusion. And the honest answer is, yes, I would. I really would. Um, if I had 90 euros, to spend. Would I buy this over the WR Toys 14401? I don't think I would. Not at the minute. We're going to do a proper head-to-head -head and we'll find, find the, uh, sort of con come to a conclusion on that at some point. But if I already own the 144 and I was looking for another one around the same price bracket, I would get this because it's sort of a different beast. It's more it's not for road, is it? You saw the way it was wobbling with everything it did on the tarmac. It was struggling when you tried to do a donut. So the poor little thing was rocking to side, from side to side. It just it, it was not very comfortable on tarmac. But on the jumps on the tarmac, yeah, brilliant, fantastic. Coming down the stairs was so funny. Um, now, what broke during this period? And this is, uh, when did I record the tarmac footage? Two days ago? Then I did editing yesterday and then we went down to the gravel sand today because I just couldn't leave it without going uh, on to, onto the sand and the gravel because that's not a very fair test. And what's actually broken on it so far is zero. Nothing has broken. It has been rock solid, which surprised me. I thought it was going to break everywhere and it hasn't. Nothing has Nothing's bent, it's just been rock solid. I mean, it drove straight into a rock at one point. Bounced off this, 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 which I think does help. Obviously, it absorbs it and then pushes it back a bit. But, I mean, the, I haven't had to tighten up anything. It's, it's, it's a solid car. 
buggy, whatever you want to call it. I love it. It's great. I don't, it's not the same quality as what the WL Toys 144001, why could they not name it something shorter? Um, because that's obviously got the, the, the metal chassis, the metal you know frames there, and it just feels a lot better. But that may be the key to this one. That may be why nothing's breaking on it or snapping, because everything is just so damn flexible. You know, it bounces off everything. So, I mean, I've not taken everything apart to have a look, but from what I can see, nothing has broken. And it works ex exactly as it should. So, should you buy this? Yes. Yes, definitely. I mean, I said that a minute ago, but then started talking about something else again. But yes, I, I definitely think that you should. Um, it's more for, I would say more for my son. He, he'll have a lot more fun than I will. I, well, again, am I just contradicting myself? Because when he passed me the controller for this and he went over to the 144001, I had great fun with this. So, yeah, just buy it. It's fantastic. Uh, as far as spare parts are concerned, they're, they're very reasonably priced as well. Um, I was wondering if I could get a bigger motor in here, maybe take the WL Toys 144001 gear out of that and put it in here, but it's not going to fit without a little bit of modification, so maybe it will fit. But that's another video for another day. So, there we go. If you like this video, and apologies for it being so long, I did not anticipate that, then please hit the like button, please subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for future video alerts. Have a great day today, everybody. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.